Datasai Solindri. The name of Ferrari's latest model sounds best when spoken by a native Italian. We wanted a name that embodies the car's essence, explains Jacopo Marken, product marketing manager. So, it's 12 Solindri straightforward and simple. As V, 12 engines become increasingly rare. Ferrari's new Grand Tour celebrates this iconic configuration, which is deeply intertwined with the brand's identity. Replacing the 812, the 12 Cylindri stays true to Ferrari's classic setup. AV, 12 engine in the front, two seats, and rear wheel drive. Yet, despite paying homage to the past, the new Grand Tour's design is more forward-looking than nostalgic. The front end is a clear homage to the 365 Jeep B slash for Daytona. Though Ferrari claims it also draws inspiration from sci-fi, featuring a faceless design by concealing the headlights. Another striking element is the C-pillar graphic, which stretches over the roof like a forward-leaning grab handle. The roof itself is a dark-tinted glass panel. The car's silhouette with its cab rear design emphasizes a long hood, while muscular fender arches accommodate 21-inch wheels paired with 275-35ZR. 21 front and 315-35ZR, 21 rear tires. Unlike Ferrari's sports cars, the aerodynamic features are more understated. Instead of a large rear spoiler, discrete flaps above the taillights deploy to increase downforce at speeds between 37 and 186 miles per hour. When cruising in a straight line, these flaps remain tucked away. Inside the new Ferrari, the interior follows a traditional dual cockpit layout, but the dashboard houses a trio of screens, a 15.6-inch driver display, a 10.3-inch central infotainment screen, and an 8.8-inch passenger display. Ferrari continues its preference for touch-capacitive controls with mixed results. Some work well, like the haptic start-slash-stop button on the steering wheel, while others, like the touch-swipe control for the side mirrors, can be needlessly frustrating. Thankfully, the Minatino remains a physical knob, allowing drivers to select from wet, sport, race, CT off, and ESC off modes. The standard seats are well contoured and offer firm padding for comfort, but they may not suit everyone. Before opting for the available sport seats, consider their limited adjustability. The front fenders with their curvaceous, scoop-like design dominate the view ahead as if ready to devour the road. While rear visibility is decent, large blind spots in the rear quarters can be problematic. Under the clamshell hood lies the F140 HD, a naturally aspirated 6.5-liter V12, first seen in the 812 Competizione. It delivers the same 819 horsepower at a high 9,250 RPM, though torque is slightly reduced to 500 pound-feet at 7,250 RPM. The red line remains an impressive 9,500 RPM. This powerful engine is housed in an aluminum space frame structure that's 15% more torsionally rigid than the 812s. It's paired with a new 8-speed dual-clutch transaxle. Thanks to the rear-mounted transaxle and positioning the engine behind the front axle, Ferrari achieves a 4852 front-to-rear weight distribution, driving the 12 cylindry. Our drive through Luxembourg's wet roads required a gentle touch on the throttle, and the long travel accelerator made it easier to control the V12's immense power. To ensure an exhilarating sound, the exhaust runners are of equal length, and the exhaust system beyond the catalytic converters has been redesigned. There are no switchable exhaust modes, but the engine produces a sharp bark upon startup. It doesn't indulge in pops and crackles, keeping things mature. At low speeds, the engine is relatively quiet, but around 3,000 RPM, it begins to make itself heard. As the revs climb past 4,000, the sound grows more intense, building steadily. At 6,500 RPM, red LEDs atop the steering will start to light up, and as you near the 9,500 RPM red line, the final two blue LEDs flash, signaling the limit. Eventually, the skies cleared and the pavement dried. Good thing, since only the most monastic driver could keep these 819 horses corralled indefinitely. The engine management system employs what Ferrari calls aspirated torque shaping, maybe it sounds better in Italian, that alters the torque curve in third and fourth gears to achieve a feeling of endless acceleration. According to Ruggiero Cevallani, 
powertrain project leader. Our road drive offered a taste of that promise. At the Goodyear test track, though, we got to feel the brunt of it, with the car still pulling strong at 170 miles per hour at the end of the straightaway. Ferrari claims a top speed north of 211 miles per hour, and we think it'll hit 60 miles per hour in 2.7 seconds. Fortunately, the carbon ceramic rotors, 15.7 inches up front, 14.2 at the rear, are indefatigable, and the brake-by-wire system, with its minimal pedal travel, is reassuringly firm underfoot. Like its predecessor, the 12 cylindry has rear axle steering, or virtual short wheelbase in Ferrari speak. Now in its third generation, it originally debuted on the F12 TDF. It makes for instantly responsive turn-in and a quick flick to gather up the rear end when it steps out in wet conditions. Yet the steering, which is super precise, never strays into dartiness. The suspension, with its magnetorheological dampers, also impressed us with its supple ride on the road. Huge, column-mounted carbon fiber shift paddles stir the new 8-speed dual-clutch transaxle, which has a wider ratio spread than the 812 7-speed. A trio of metal flippers on the console select reverse, switch between auto and manual mode, and activate launch control. The arrangement visually recalls Ferrari's metal-gated shifter, but that's as close as you get to a manual here. Ferrari has had 12-cylinder cars going back to 1947, but none has used its engine configuration as its name. Could this mean the 12-cylindry is the last of the line? Some people have suggested that, Markin admits, but that's not our meaning. We're not saying yes, and we're not saying no. We suspect that if Ferrari can keep the V, 12 V going, it won't stop the music prematurely. But finale or not, the 12 cylindry has the notes of a greatest hit. The 2025 Ferrari 12 cylindry is a tribute to Ferrari's legacy of high performance V, 12 engines, delivering a thrilling driving experience. Powered by a naturally aspirated 6.5 liter V, 12 engine. It produces an impressive 819 horsepower at 9,250 RPM and 500 pound-feet of torque at 7,250 RPM. With a stratospheric redline of 9,500 RPM, the engine allows for incredible high revving performance, offering an exhilarating blend of power and responsiveness. Paired with an 8-speed dual-clutch transaxle, the 12 cylindry delivers smooth yet lightning quick shifts, enabling drivers to harness every ounce of its capability. The car's design is equally focused on enhancing performance. Ferrari achieves near-perfect weight distribution with a 4852 front-to-rear balance, thanks in part to the rear-mounted transaxle and positioning the engine behind the front axle. This setup contributes to the 12 cylindry's agile handling, providing excellent stability during high-speed cornering. The car's advanced suspension system and precise steering give the driver full control, whether on winding roads or a straight stretch, ensuring an engaging and confidence-inspiring experience behind the wheel. In terms of aerodynamics, the 12 cylindry is designed for both speed and efficiency. Unlike many of Ferrari's sports cars, which have overtly visible aerodynamic components, this Grand Tour takes a more subtle approach. Active flaps 